two, three, four. Hey everybody, Gary here with Pal Music. I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight into chord progression structure within the key of C and what different chord progression structures might sound like, like 1-4-5 on La Bamba 
or 1 to 6 on the intro of Hallelujah, or 1, 5, 6, 4 in the beginning of Let It Be, and also No Woman, No Cry. So once you start to think about chord progressions in terms of their structure, the numbers, you'll be able to correlate chord progressions in any key and easily transpose a chord progression from one key to another key. So this lesson is actually a companion lesson in my Fret Live Fretboard Mastery program, where we go over how music works from the very beginning on the fretboard. It's a 12 unit course. Every unit, there's a theory lesson with my Fret Live animations, and then a creative assignment and a song learning assignment so you could apply what you learned. And along with the video content, it's a live course where you'll be with 40 other students. Each week, you'll get access to the same content. You'll post your work, get feedback, leave feedback, and you'll help to keep each other motivated and accountable. So we're almost finished with the first ever Fret Live Fretboard Mastery Program group. It's been really awesome so far. If you want to join the next one, I'll leave a link in the description. Also, if you want to go deeper on your strumming technique, I have a course just for strumming called Super Strummer, Seven Levels to Strumming Freedom, where there's seven guided strumming workouts going from very, very simple to more advanced funk 16th note strumming. And then there's a whole bunch of lessons just on strumming techniques. So I'll also link that in the description. If you want some insight into how I approached all of the songs in this video, both on acoustic and electric guitar, there's a 30 minute patron only lesson where I break down everything I did in all of the examples, uh, both on acoustic and electric. All right, so for Let It Be, the main strum pattern that I have going on, if we look at a C chord, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And I'm kind of accenting the third beat, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and down, 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 up. Okay, so then the lead part, first thing I'm doing is finding a C major scale I like in the register I like. So I like, I, th I started it up here in pattern four of the pentatonic. So I don't teach necessarily everything note for note, but I try to give you a nugget on my approach to both the rhythm guitar parts and the lead guitar parts. Some of the scale shapes, chord shapes, arpeggio patterns, that kind of thing. So the link for that for PAL Music patrons is in the description. If you want to consider becoming a PAL Music patron, not only will you get access to patron-only resources like extended lessons and tab and downloads and things like that, you'll also be able to join me twice weekly for live hour and a half Zoom sessions where there's usually anywhere between four and 10 people. We all hang out, guitars in hand. I usually go around, give people a mini lesson if, there's, if they have a question or something they want to go over, or I just lead a group lesson or we have a group jam. And if you're not in the mood to interact, you can just keep your camera and mic off and listen in like it's a live podcast. So that's patreon.com slash pal music and the link is in the description. But one thing I do want to go over is the F chord, right? Because if it wasn't for the F chord, everything would be so much easier, right? So even though I played the F mostly like this, or like this, you, what I would recommend you do if the bar chord is hard for you, and even just as an alternative, is this. You wanna work to this shape right here. So the first step is just this triad on strings two, three, four, counting toes to nose. So first finger on the first fret of the B string, index finger, second finger or middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and then ring finger on the third fret of the D string. And it's this straight diagonal, right? So that's a F triad. And then if you angle your hand the right way, you can mute out the low E, and then you can mute out the A with the flesh of your ring finger, and you can mute out the low E with the flesh of your thumb. If you let the high E ring out, it's an F major seven which is a nice chord, but won't really work in a lot of situations. Now the next step, that's a little thin sounding. To thicken it up a little bit, take your ring finger, go up one string, and then put your pinky where your ring finger was. Now we have five, one, three, five. And that's real thick. You know, if I went, let's say C to F. There's really nothing lacking there. And then once you get that, then it's just a matter of straightening out that index finger for the full bar. Now, if this is easy for you and you like this kind of position, if you could sneak over your thumb and just pull back on that 
on that first fret of the low E string, now you get that low E string too to really thicken it up. And then you could even use the tip of your first finger to bar that uh, the first and second string. And it's kind of a bar without having to bar. It's like a fingertip bar. I often play the F like that. All right, everybody, happy playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Before I go, I just want to extend a big thank you to all of the POW Music patrons, and a special thank you to the following higher-level patrons at patreon.com slash powmusic. Thank you to Alexander Pitterman, Andrew Vogel, Arwin Gu Zen, Cam Chernichon, Chris Watson, Chris Freeman, Daniel Small, Derek Mickle, Don Stringham, Donald James Grass, Joff Weathermax, Jim McCall, John Hartquist, John Cushman, Joseph McCarthy, Jurgen Schwartz, Newt Olive Walt, Noah Brand, Rich Mason, Ryan Helston, Sean Ellis, and Trampus Thompson. Thank you so much for making these lessons possible. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.